what's up goddess gang today we are back with another video and today we have our beautiful wonderful magnificent red iguana ana luisa we are using this model ones kit yet again you guys we're just gonna use the um the nudish poly gel color it's a little translucent and cute or whatever we're also using mccart pump ups i will have this stuff linked in the description down below for you guys so getting right into this video we are gonna go ahead and glue on our tips which i'm using the sxc cosmetics glue gel i do have my little mini led lamp for flash curing by model ones and i didn't show you guys the application on the middle finger because it was ugly girlfriend no i don't know what i didn't like about it but um we're using our slip solution from model ones love it and i'm almost out of it but you guys i got about a good four or five sets out of that little tiny slip solution bottle and i'm sure you're not supposed to leave it sitting around and reuse it later but i will say it does not like it doesn't just dry up you know it if you leave it there like one day i left it there overnight and the next day it was still there and i was surprised i thought it would have been dried up and everything like that but no so yeah i have a glove on ana luisa because I don't know why honestly i put the glove on her <laughs> so i guess it was to protect her beautiful skin from the led the um the lamp from the leds while i did her poly gel set and this is going to be a jelly set so that's why i wanted to use this model one's translucent um color for the nail bed this nudish color honestly I would say, so I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, but I did tell you guys that this was going to be a prime example of why it's good to use a gener like a generous amount of poly gel on the nail bed. So it is a little trickier, especially with this poly gel in particular, because this poly gel kind of starts to sink and set and um, you have to go back and like you shape one side then you got to kind of go back and shape the other side so it is challenging to use just one you know bead of poly gel so to speak to achieve what you need and to kind of work with a larger amount but i did experiment and i noticed that when i use like a smaller amount versus a bigger amount the smaller amount was like a little too, too translucent it wasn't perfect and i had to go in and add another bead of poly gel and then when i went to file it didn't turn out very well so i would say use a generous amount the first time um yeah it's tricky this is part of the learning and growing that i've been doing is kind of just experimenting learning what works and what doesn't work and really just looking to master my skill and it's been going very well and if you guys have been here please let me know what you think i was not very confident with this application as far as the end result like this is how weird i am i did the pinky last and then i filed the pinky first and i was like why would i do that so i kind of ruined the pinky a little bit and if you guys did watch a previous video that i uploaded and hear the story about me and my grief with ana luisa then you will know that i am going to be telling you guys about how i prep her for use and everything like that so definitely look forward to that video very soon this is the nail where i used less product and it really wasn't worth it at all whatsoever um the middle finger and the ring finger the ring finger especially came out really nicely so just use a generous amount and then be patient with yourself it will come out looking really good and yeah look at my baby girl with her nail beds on fleek you guys have no idea how proud i am of 
just all of my hard work omg to be using my practice hand finally i don't know what took me so long and her nail beds are prepped perfectly these nails i was able to just straight up pop them off at the end and i'm really excited and happy about it i will be um basically doing a video where i tell you guys about how i do it and i'll also create a blog post and show you guys everything so that if you ever need to go back and refer to it then you can always go to my blog and you can see um, I did also mention that V nailed it on Instagram and on YouTube has released her own version of a silicone practice hand I think they're called V Bella or something like that Vita Bella I don't remember you guys I'm horrible but um, I'm really excited to try it. I'm going to go online soon and see like what the pricing is. And I really want to order a full hand very soon. So I am considering that. Even though I love red iguana. I don't know. Honestly, I just want to know like if red iguana has any competition at all whatsoever. I find it hard to believe that they would. But at the same time, it's really nice to see like if they if the v nail that hands are the same quality it would be nice to support her um you know she's young she's a um she just had a newborn baby recently and she has young children so it's always nice to spread the love anywhere that we can so that's why i wanted to drop that little bit and let you guys know because i personally do keep up with her journey and i am very proud of her and very happy for her and so yeah Anyways, you guys, I'm going to let you all continue to watch the application just a bit. I have been chit-chatting a lot on my videos lately, so if you guys want to hear some chit-chat, my last two uploads are for sure that kind of video. Um, I feel bad for any of my new subscribers who are like, why won't she shut up? Um, this is the gift and the curse of like you know not uploading back to back every day when i upload back to back every day i kind of feel like i don't know what to talk about i feel repetitive i feel like i'm talking too much and then when i take a break from youtube or from uploading or from you know interacting with you guys then i come back and i feel like oh my god i'm all over the place i can't shut up like but it's not a it's like a good because it's like i'm updating you guys and i have a lot to talk about and i don't know just um really learning this lifestyle and getting used to it um trying to find balance and you know like between chit chat videos and tutorial videos and you know some people my supporters will enjoy you know me telling them about my life from time to time whereas maybe the new viewers will be so confused and there is a lot to take into consideration as a nail tuber um you know i don't know you guys but i want to kind of be able to appease to all audiences so i have been putting a little bit of um like a little bit of time into researching what that would require and just different video styles and different different everything it's kind of hard to find a certain direction but here we are using our mccart crystal clear jellies you guys i love these jellies if you have not seen me unbox and swatch them i do have a swatching um, playlist on my YouTube and you should be able to find them there. I have used these before. I created a stiletto set. Actually, I don't even know if I posted that video. I am such a junkie, you guys. Literally, if the video is not perfect, I throw the whole video away, which is like impossible. I don't throw them all away, but I don't know. It's It was, it was boring. All I did was do a clear acrylic set with gel polish on top <laughs> like that was so boring but i have used these before i know you can see the picture on my instagram at the very least and luckily mccart posted the picture on their instagram too that was quite a while ago so i'm gonna be kind of doing jelly sets for a while i will be having a blog post soon where i'm going to um basically show you guys a lot of inspo sets that i saw on instagram whenever you search up like jelly nails the hashtag jelly nails you can see like the top posts for jelly nails and 
um definitely some interesting perspectives on jelly nails i kind of want to switch it up a little bit and do some stuff that i haven't really seen um i was thinking like i don't know jelly nails are like supposed to be super fun and cool to me i definitely do not want them to be boring i found some really good inspo but i also have like my own little personal twist that i want to add to so yeah but don't judge me on my nail beds they're not perfect that's why at the end we're gonna just cover them with stones i was not very picky about these french tips as opposed to my previous nail set simply because one they were on a practice hand and two um i was really doing something where i didn't know the best method so like someone who's smart would have done this totally different so what they would have done is they would have painted the tips with the jelly gel polish and then they would have added probably like a, a like a base coat layer on top of that and then they would have gone in with the nail bed and then they would have just probably topped it all with like a hard gel or maybe a clear acrylic when i do top this at the end the clear acrylic you guys are going to see that um i didn't really build the nails up because there is, it is a practice hand so that it was okay it wasn't perfect i wasn't really that happy with this video but it is practice on my Ana Luisa, and it's also practice doing some kind of design that I really couldn't, like I knew everything that I needed to do, but I didn't know the perfect order. So I kind of just went for it. But now that I'm looking back on it, I could have definitely did like better um, if I would have rearranged the steps, or maybe I could have, it could have been a neater, cleaner, less time consuming process but that's something that you guys are gonna see a lot is just me like learning and growing and sort of um critiquing myself i really like to critique myself my goal is to get pretty fast so that i can be like have you guys seen brandy nailed it i think she's not i don't think she's new but she's relatively newer and she's more popular or she's gaining popularity but she posts like sometimes she posts every single day and i'm like oh my god she is so awesome vicky i mean not vicky um yeah well nailed by vic she posts and i'm always like oh my god her videos are so epic so i really want to like boss up <laughs> and um this is how you do that is by learning and experimenting um some of those videos that they have i mean those channels that they have they have like over 500 videos so i have like not even 40 videos i think maybe i have like 50 videos i don't know but definitely want to up it so thank you guys so much for all your support thank you so much for subscribing and liking this video and definitely comment down below introduce yourselves to me let me know who you are i know my supporters i love you all so much you're like the bomb.com so yeah anyways look at this orange it's definitely one of my favorites i'm going to be using this orange on a set all by itself so i'm going to be creating multiple jelly sets um I'm really excited, honestly. I want to create some super, super cool ones. Just putting thought into it and always kind of um, thinking about the order to work in whenever I work. So meditation, honey, meditation. <laughs> Alright you guys, so we made it through that part. Now, by the way, I did have to add two coats onto the nails, so I did another coat of the gel polish off camera. But now we're going to be going in with our Young Nails Core Clear, and we are using our Young Nails Artistic Sculptor along with my Mongo Monomer that I absolutely love. I did try to search it online to see if I could find it for you guys to link it, but I wasn't able to find it, so sorry. 
and just a little FYI if you guys want to fast forward <laughs> I might have to put timestamps on this video because this application was so cringe one I was trying to work with the temperature in the home at 75 because it's getting really hot outside so like you know i try to keep the, the ac from running all the time so i was like listen i'm gonna have to like do it at 75 you know and i wasn't really it wasn't perfect for me but i i got through it i got through the application so if you guys are gonna get through with me that would be awesome if you want to skip ahead i will not be offended but this is basically the last step aside from filing and um, I did have to go in on the pinky and add more poly gel because that's the one that I ruined by filing it prematurely and yeah at the end that was just a waste because I ended up filing off the poly gel that I added so definitely a learning curve on this video you guys i have been enduring multiple learning curves you know honestly i think recently i was thinking and i was like hey you know in life we're gonna be challenged we're gonna be challenged no matter what we're gonna have obstacles no matter what but you know what's beautiful is that we can choose to a certain degree obviously but we can choose our obstacles and we can choose our discomfort and what i mean by that is that when i choose to do these things that are like challenging like you know these french nail tips and this method that i've never done before to achieve a certain look with you know whatever i have and so on and so forth when we challenge ourselves we're really we're saving ourselves from the challenges that the world decides for us we're kind of deciding our challenges and we're saying listen because we know and this is for my spiritual people who kind of you know what's 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 understood doesn't need to be explained but um for the sake of this explanation we we can sense like we have to go through struggles but if you ever want to kind of take a break in life and force yourself like how many times do you hate waking up on time or like hate going to the gym or you know hate choosing to eat healthy as opposed to stuffing your face with bad food or you know hate being disciplined and committing to schedules or committing to people or committing to projects and things like that like those are all things that ultimately cause us discomfort because we would rather be you guys want to know the truth sometimes i don't upload on youtube because i'm too busy watching youtube the time that i need to spend uploading onto youtube i'm spending watching youtube but imagine if i was like to put myself in an uncomfortable situation because watching youtube is comfortable for me but if i was to say listen instead of watching youtube i am going to produce videos i'm gonna give people what they want to watch what I want to watch, I'm going to give them to watch. And the thing about it is like when I do that, I'm sacrificing. It's called self-sacrifice. And that is what saves us from having to go through those bad things because that's what sort of builds up good karma. So maybe I would have ended up if I didn't, you know, take on these challenges. And this is all just hypothetically speaking. These are super random examples, but maybe if I was to skip out on these challenges, I would be faced with challenges like um, getting a flat tire or, you know, um, losing electricity or, you know, not having internet for the whole day, so on and so forth. Just little stupid things that are like so meticulous and come at the most precise timing to truly get under our skin. So I have been focused on kind of struggling getting out of my comfort zone on my own terms so that's definitely what this set was and for that i'm proud of myself any imperfections or you know any need to improve i'm totally here for um because that's that was the goal that was the challenge is to take myself out of my comfort zone and challenge myself and hold myself accountable so here we are we already went in with our glue gel so we're gonna go ahead and add our stones these are from in sxc cosmetics 
um, glow kit and then a glow poly gel kit and also from like probably like the bridal kit or something with these crystal clear stones I love them they're the she okay you guys and other than that we're just gonna be top coating with a shiny top coat and I do kind of make a habit of wiping off the stones a bit so that they can keep their original cuts and you can tell that you know they're stones or whatever you guys can see my french tips are not perfect but that is totally okay anna loved her nails did you love your nails anna she loved them she did so let me know how you guys thought that i did on this set um i thought they turned out so beautiful i will totally be doing these nails again um right now i'm in an experimentation but when i get really good i'm gonna go through and do these nail sets and kill it i'm super happy i was able to try to do a more uh like a narrow oval um french tip as opposed to like a circle one or a short one so that was another thing that i was experimenting with that was a little challenging if you guys haven't seen my previous upload i did french tips on those nails too they turned out super cute shout out again to model ones for sending me this poly gel kit shout out to mccart if you guys do not know i am an ambassador for mccart you can save 15 percent on your mccart goodies with my discount code scorpion goddess so if you're ever on the website and you can't think of a code to use you can always use that one i'm always using people's codes because like they come in clutch especially like when you least expect like you are almost like about to check out and you're like oh my god i forgot such and such has a code so i always you know get that little 10 15 20 percent off and um, I do have a surprise for you guys coming soon and you will be saving up to 30% off on your goodies with the new offer that I have. So we are going to be unboxing some products soon and I'm going to be giving you guys more reviews. Let me know what you thought of this video, this nail set and how you have been doing, how your journey is going and what you would like to see from me in future videos. I love you guys so much. Make sure that you turn on your notification bell so you can be uh you know notified every time i upload <laughs> and also check out my blog it is under construction but if you ever want to go there and see kind of more or less what i'm up to um in the coming weeks in the coming months you guys will see a lot of updates and changes there and yeah i guess that's all for today you guys i'll talk to you soon i love you all so much and you guys will be seeing me i will be showing you guys ana luisa's natural nail beds them boys is on fleeky fleek 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 okay so stay tuned for that and i love you guys i'll talk to you later bye